What's up, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube world? This is Chris, a.k.a. Barnon11970, and thank you, as always, for checking out my video. All right, guys, one of the things I love about my new Facebook page, the Barnon11970, and if you are not part of it, I totally suggest you check it out. Uh, one of the things I love is the fact that almost every day, somebody's sending me an email or leaving a post of amazing information. And there's a book where they showed this one page, and I'm going to show you a link if you don't want to purchase the book. But I would highly recommend it if you want to read this, where um, a person, his name is William Cooper, in 1991 wrote a book called Behold the Pale Horse, where it's giving government information. And I'm going to read a little bit of a page, page 225, where basically he's talking about how they're planning on getting rid of the Second Amendment. They talk about predictions about 9-11 in the book, not 9-11 specifically, but what they are doing to cause these things. And also school shootings. So again, the book is called Behold the Pale Horse. It's page 225. This was written in 1991 by William Cooper. So I'm going to read a little bit of this, and then um, I'll post a link or, you know, go to Amazon.com, buy the book yourself, check it out. But this is amazing stuff. So I'm going to read this. And this is in quotes. The government encouraged the manufacture and importation of firearms for the criminals to use. This is intended to foster a feeling of insecurity, which would lead the American people to voluntarily disarm themselves by passing laws against firearms. Sound familiar? Using drugs and hypnosis on mental patients in a process called Orion... The CIA included, um, inclinated the desire in these people to open fire on schoolyards and thus inflame the anti-gun lobby. This plan is well underway and so far is working perfectly. The middle class is begging for the government to do away with the Second Amendment. End quotes. That's from William Cooper's book in 1991. Now, does that seem scary? Does that seem like things that are going on with all these school shootings, one after the other, and you notice they always have the same problem? Schoolyards and assault rifles. So many people have said, people like me and others that talk about this stuff are paranoid, we're conspiracy theorists, and I've even shown videos where the government, and I've talked about this, where all the way back as far as the 40s and 50s, we're doing experiments on people and their mental capacities. They don't do things unless they're trying to figure things out. If you know anything about the CIA and the things about spying, there's a lot of manipulation they use with psychology and through emotion. And this person was writing a book in 1991 talking about how they're using psychotic people. And you notice all of these school shootings were done by people with medication problems, some kind of mental illness, not just some regular person. And it's a school shooting to get the Second Amendment taken away. Because once you disarm the public, the government can run rampant. You see it throughout history. But yet people don't want to wake up. They want to call people like me paranoid when there's proof after proof. I don't know what else to say at this point. They're doing this on purpose. Re problem, reaction, solution. Start a problem. Get the people to react. And those very people that started the problem come up with the solution and they're looked like heroes. When are people going to get it? It's the oldest trick in the book. And it's still working to this day to the point where there will still be people saying I'm paranoid and crazy. All I say to those people is look up old unclassified videos of the CIA and their mental tests on people. And they're using of the psychology. They're even using people with psychic abilities. There were movies based on this, as based on truth, and yet we're called paranoid. I mean, it's unbelievable. Go buy that book. I, I'm not affiliated with it. I don't make any profit. You know, my name isn't William Cooper, so, you know, this is not my book. You know, in 1991, I was 20 years old, and uh, I was too busy drinking every night then to write a book. But it's called Behold the Pale Horse. It's page 225 by William Cooper. See it for yourself, or I will post a link. You can check that quote directly for yourself. They've been doing this for how long now? That book was back in the 90s. And look at all the events that are happening. 
If you think it's a coincidence at this point, I'm sorry. You're just naive. Your head is in the sand. Or you're part of a CIA operative to end up going on different channels to die and try and discredit people. And I know people will say, oh, that's paranoid too. So I guess supposedly we live in this perfect world where everything works wonderful. The governments are your best friends. The cops are always looking out for your best interests. Banks are there to loan you money every second. There's real money in the bank accounts. You know, the people that say people like me and others are paranoid, what world are you living in? I mean, really? So anyway, I'm going to post that link. If you want to get that book, that's up to you. Check it out. At least check the website out. And um, stop thinking these things are accidental. Because that's how they get away with it for so long. How much longer are we going to allow this? How many more deaths are going to occur until somebody gets it? Thanks for watching. I'd say peace, but it seems the majority of people don't seem to want it. But for those who do, peace.